Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Paul Mike here, back with another video. So today I got you guys with the Victor Wambinyama build in 2K24. Now this boot is gonna be the way you're gonna be seeing the over, uh, the like the build attributes is gonna go crazy. It's gonna be unrealistic. Just follow me step by step. It's gonna be an overpowered build. If you want a popper that could play defense and also could kind of sauce up and also could finish and has all maxed out on uh, physicals, this is gonna be the build for you guys. Now just follow me step by step and yeah, if you guys are new, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're trying to now get, I don't even know, but don't forget to like and subscribe because we did hit 5K, so shout out to y'all. We're going for the next milestone and let's get right into the video. But right here, just follow me step by step. Hand doesn't really matter, just never that doesn't really matter. Although for the hands, left hand, low key, if you're a shooter, you know, left hand is gonna go crazy sometimes. Defense won't expect it, but it doesn't really matter, honestly. Position, it does matter because this build's gonna be 7 1. I know Victor's like 7 4. We can't even make it 7 4, but if we, even if we max it out, it's gonna heavily decrease the potential attributes. So put it to 7 1. Yes, it's still gonna be decreasing, but we're gonna like decrease the wingspan, still giving us some of the three pointer stuff. So put it, put the wingspan. Do not put the wingspan to the lowest. We need a little bit of the defense, especially steals, because we're gonna max out the steals. So if we put it to 7 1, we're gonna have 59 steals. Follow me step by step because I'll give you guys the attributes and what you guys need to do and what you need to modify. So if we put it to 7 1, the steal's gonna be 59, which then we'll get we will not get intercepted, which we do need that bad. So just put a one up giving you a 60 steals, 7 2. That way there's gonna be an interceptor. Wait, try to put it to the lowest just to get the speed up. We're trying to max out the speed. And I know I told you that physical, everything's gonna be maxed out. So put it to 220 right there. This is gonna be the physical uh, template. Let's continue. Now over here, let's start off with the three-pointer. We're gonna max out the three-pointer. Right there, when you max out the three-pointer, we're gonna have Claymore, Catch and Shoot, Corner, all of them on gold. Now we're also gonna have Limitless. I know it's on bronze, but yo, Limitless, uh, Limitless, we need to have the 92 to have it on silver. Yo, Limitless on bronze is already overpowered, trust me. Now we're a big man, so we don't need as much as Limitless, but you can still sauce up. Now for the mid-range, we're gonna have that all the way up to an 89. Not that because this is gonna be a midi guy, it's gonna be like a, a three-pointer, but we do need some of the best. So as soon as we have that to an 89, right there, 89, right there, blinders, it's gonna be on goal. So when we move back to the three-pointer, blinders, green machine, guard up is now all on goal. You saw, you saw those was all on silver when it was an 85. Just because of the midi, the three-pointer got upgraded. Most of this stuff is interconnected, so you know, 2K, <laughs> they be like that sometimes. But right here, moving to playmaking, we're gonna max out ball handling. We're gonna max out speed with ball. And again, when we max out ball handling, we're not gonna get unpluckable because we need a 75, I mean a 70 ball handling. But again, you could get the unpluckable on gold through the post control. So we're gonna have unpluckable on gold as a big man and a 67 ball handling, nearly a 70 ball handling. So put the post control to it, 92, 92 right there. Now that 92 additionally will get you the post e fin I'm supposed to be taking shit and dream shake all on Hall of Fame. Additionally, you have drop separate and unpluckable, the ST badge on gold. But post e fin up, that means you could be fading around with the three pointer and the midi. Now moving on, our defense is gonna be crazy, but let's let's finish this finishing. We're not gonna be finishing, but, but let's finish the finishing right now. Finish the finishing is crazy. I have an 85 standing dunk. Now the finishing badge, we're gonna get uh, it's gonna get upgraded through the physical. So right here, yes, the faster stuff is gonna be on silver. We're gonna get a rise up. As you guys can see, we need physicals for the rise of like vertical and stuff, right? So we're gonna we're not this is not the badge right now. Through when we max out the physicals, all the badge is gonna be more upgraded. Now. Driving dunk, put it to 70 now. Driving dunk, we're not gonna have like all those crazy contact dunks, but we're gonna have some kind of like Giannis dunk package and stuff. So we're still gonna be solid with the driving dunks now. Remember, mind you, this is not a finishing duel. We're still gonna be solid with it. Now, moving on, I skipped the pass accuracy. Now for the pass accuracy, honestly, this year on 2K24, it does matter. So I'm not really putting too much emphasis on this, but put it to a 62, right there, I'll give you like dimer and stuff. Just keep it at 60 as of right now. Keep it at 60 because all you need is diamond on bronze and you have a solid stats. Now, if you are playing record stuff, you probably need to increase it. Same with the free throws. I'll put that at the end right now. Now, interior defense, max it out. Skip the steals. I mean, skip perimeter now. Move to the steals and max out steals. As I told you guys on the physicals, interceptor. We would need that bad on. So we're going to max it out. Not much big mans have interceptor on. Now, at perimeter, we don't need as much. So we're going to put this to a 60. We're not gonna unlock, we're gonna unlock like off ball beast, off ball pest, <laughs> but it's not gonna unlock any of this. Most of them are kind of unlocked because of our height, but keep it at 60, you know, all around defense. Max out the offensive rebound and max out the defensive rebound. Right there is gonna be very solid. And also for the blocks, we're gonna put that all the way up to 87. 87, now we can max it out, but let's keep it 87, giving you anchor. 
We're also gonna have chase down because of the physicals. As I told you guys, this is the unique thing about the, uh, the physicals. If you guys follow me step by step, you guys should know. You're gonna max out speed, max out excel, max out strength, max out vertical, and max out stamina. As you guys can see, when we go back to blocks, we will have chase down on gold and pogo and silver. Chase down on gold, anchor on uh, silver as a 7-1 is gonna be overpowered. Because remember, mind you, 7-1 are slow. We're gonna mess up the speed. So any kind of big who's gonna blow by us, they will not expect a, a gold chase down and also like a 7-1 center. Now the build is not done because I give you guys some leeways. You know, you could also even upgrade the midi to like a 90 giving you that dead eye. But I'm keeping an 89, I don't dead eyes the ST match. But also, if you're playing, if you're playing rec, max out the free throws. You would need the free throws. But for the people who are not playing rec, this is why I give uh, this leeway at the end. If you're not playing rec, free throws literally are useless. That's the only time you use, you use it on rec. So if you do not play rec, just keep it to 89, 64 is the middle. Right there, you could play around with it. Now we, have, we don't have that much driving layup, but we don't have that much close shot because we're not going to be taking as much. If we do, we have solid batch for it. But if not, just keep the rest to whatever you guys want. You can play around with it. Now, if you don't feel like perimeter, because perimeter is kind of unnecessary for some people, because unless you're trying to play all around a 7-1, you don't need all this perimeter. So you can put this to the lowest. Okay, no, 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 the lowest crazy. Don't put it to the lowest, max it out right there, because we do, we have the speed. So all of them is interconnected, right? So max out the interior, uh, interior defense. So right there, yeah. So we're gonna have 37 perimeter, max this out again, and put the rest to like blocks or something. Now right there, we'll give you two more blocks, it's not as efficient because it's not gonna get that much badge. So me personally, I'll probably put it to like that dead eye right there giving you, when you have when you max out the mid range, you're also gonna have guard on my hall of fame and dead eye on go. So this is gonna be crazy on shooting. This really depends on your, you know, on your play style and stuff. If you have any modification, you guys can put in the comment section below. So me personally, let's see if we max out, it's not gonna give you anything. Yeah, I'll probably put it to midi. Okay, I feel like I wanna do a little bit of the finishing. Yeah, that's not gonna be anything. Yes, it's gonna be like plus seven attributes, but just keep that to the midi, giving you two badge upgrades with the Dead Eye on Gold and Guard of a Hall of Fame. Now, this is the concept of the build. Oh, oh also free throws. We'll put the rest because we gotta put the rest to like free throws right there, also giving you that three points. And right there's gonna be the build. Go press continue. Now, to play around with it, because I told you guys a, le a little leeway on the attributes, you guys gotta test out the build. Now, we're gonna press continue because most people don't be testing out the boot. They be making it, wasting their VC. Just test the boot out, like say, like test the boot. And uh, depending on you, know, if you're playing 3v3 or 5, max out, max it out first. And then if 3v3 or 5v5, I'll probably play 3v3 because if it's park related, just try it on the park. So do the 3v3, start the game and play around with it. Now I'm not gonna be playing around with it, wasting your time. Just don't forget to like and subscribe, check it out. If you have any modification, you guys can put it in the comment section below. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. I'm out.